Among some of the Christmas specials I watch each year, A Year Without a Santa Claus remains one of my favorites. It's a simple tale about Santa Claus's decision to not make his annual Christmas Eve delivery. It deals with people not believing in the legend of Santa, and it's a wonderfully made special by Rankin Bass, the same guys who made everyone's favorite stop-motion film, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Even if you've never seen The Year Without a Santa Claus, you might recognize two of its breakout stars, Snow Miser and Heat Miser. These two ragtime song singing elementals didn't have much screen time in The Year Without a Santa Claus, but they left one hell of an impression with their incredibly catchy song. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Ten Below. They call me Heat Miser. Whatever I touch starts to melt in my clutch. I'm too much. The two characters had such a strong presence in Christmas culture that back in 2008, 34 years after they debuted, they got their own little Christmas special. And it is certainly something. So what's good? I'm Dylan the Dark and I got my hot cocoa on standby because we're watching the Miser Brothers Christmas special. And before we get into all of that, why don't you give yourself a gift and subscribe to my channel? Tis the season of giving after all. <laughs> So the special opens up in Santa's workshop, where the elves are preparing for the big night. It's Christmas time, a jolly time, a sleigh and snow and holly time. Really? That's the first lyric? <laughs> These motherfuckers just rhymed time with time. Well, the song may not be very good, but at least the stop motion is. When I first watched this, I thought it was all computer animated, but I was happy to learn that the film is majorly stop motion with little CGI touch-ups, which is, in my opinion, the way it should be. Bake the cookies, trim the tree, save some treats for you and me. Build a fire, not too hot, put some cider in the pot. Helping others is the reason for the joy of Christmas season. Oh my god, dude, the song just keeps going. There's like no melody or anything. It's just like, just keep singing the song. This will distract your kids for the next 40 minutes so you can go drink your alcohol in peace. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Do you think Santa just says that every time he exits his house? Like every, every time he leaves. It's Christmas time. And the elves just look at the calendar and it says, like, July. <laughs> you should notice that Santa is played once again by Mickey Rooney, who has a lot of experience voicing Santa. Mickey Rooney really fits the bill of a holly jolly Santa, so it's nice to hear him play the role one last time. We then meet Tinsel, a plucky young elf who is Santa's mechanic. She just finished working on a new sleigh for Santa, so they take it for a spin. Then we finally meet the Miser Brothers. So, today's the day, huh, Blizzard Brain? Same time every year, Inferno Face. It's really cool they got Heat Miser's original voice actor, George S. Irving, to reprise his role. Snow Miser was originally played by Dick Sean, but he unfortunately passed away back in the 80s. So here he's played by Juan Chioran. Chill out, hothead. It's family. Juan does a good job with the voice, I think it's very fitting, but I can't help but miss Dick's performance. Stop by with your hubby sometime and we'll have a blizzard! <laughs> so the two are off to their mom's annual meetup with all their siblings. Well, aside from that piss your pants moment, I think it's pretty neat that you actually get to see some of the other types of nature. So then we meet this asshole, the North Wind. The North Wind ready to report. But before I begin, let me just say how good it is to see you again, Mother Nature. Man, this dude's got a chin that could absorb Bruce Campbell's chin. As you can see, he's a pompous dickhead who, of course, wants to take over Christmas. But what if 
<laughs> Heaven forbid, uh, something should happen to Santa Claus. Uh, what if he was not able to deliver presents on Christmas? As baller as it would be to own Christmas, I don't get why all the Christmas movie villains want to take over Christmas. You have all the pressure of the world on your shoulders and you can only go out one night a year. But then again, Santa Claus is on pretty much everything in existence around this time of year, and seeing my face on some merchandise would be kind of cool. I mean, just imagine, like, merchandise for my channel with, you know, my face or my logo. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing. So the next day, the brothers continue to piss each other off and get into a fight. Nice job on the global warming, you flame fucker! Oh yeah? Well, why don't you eat a piss snow cone, you blizzard bitch? And these creepy wind minions break Santa's sleigh and guide it into the brothers' feud. Santa Claus! Hold your fire, boys! Whoa! Stop shooting! Oh no! Mom is Mom going is to kill us! Santa then breaks his back, which means nobody will be able to deliver the toys. Mother, I came as soon as I heard the news. Santa Claus, it's terrible. Fortunately, I'm ready to step in and take over. Oh, don't worry, dear. Santa is fine. He is? Uh, oh, he is. You do realize that we all saw you do that, right? I mean, you did that right in front of us. So it's decided that the Miser Brothers will step in for Santa, and they're brought to the North Pole while the north wind farts away. I like the look of his wind castle. The set interior is pretty good as well with the moving clouds. Again, a testament to how rad practical effects will always look. It's my kind of Christmas, a cold windy Christmas, and I am the cool guy on the scene. I know they probably tried, but these songs are just fucking awful. Can't you see? It's over. This Christmas, no Santa, just me! This song will never play at a Christmas party. Hey, you better watch out, Mariah Carey. The fucking North Wind is gonna be taking the top spot for most played Christmas song. This no Santa, just me! Oh, oh. Okay, dude, you gotta back up. While preparing for Christmas Eve, the brothers decide to add their own little personal flares to the Christmas formula. <laughs> Those icicle toys will definitely melt by the time it's Christmas morning, so what's the point of making toys out of ice? Like, imagine you wake up for Christmas morning, you walk downstairs, and there's just a big fucking puddle under the tree. <laughs> I'm Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm We're really just gonna Mr. dive into their most popular song now? There was no buildup! They just kind of go. Remember in the year without a Santa Claus when the other characters were actually meeting the Miser Brothers for the first time? The Misers were introducing themselves. Here, they just kind of threw it at you. Now, the Miser Brothers song is the big reason why this special even exists. And boy, it just does not sound as good. It's slower and with less enthusiasm. I mean, I know the voice actor of Heat Miser is super old when he recorded this, but I mean, come on, pick up the pace a little. Also, Snow Miser doesn't even do the sound right. It's not. Christmas. White Christmas! Green power! White power! Wait. 
In an attempt to get the boys to finally get along, Mrs. Claus shows them the naughty and nice list. Oh, Jacques Marcel in Paris just went to bed without brushing his teeth. So let it be known that all the elves in the North Pole know all of the cringy shit that you've done in your life. <laughs> Some of you are definitely on the naughty list. When you fight, day and night, you know it isn't right that we must live in harmony. <laughs> this Nothing sucks. <laughs> this song literally sounds like something she just made up on the spot. Treat your brother with respect, and he will treat you well. Brothers shouldn't fight. Be nice. I don't give a shit. So they patch things up, and the North Wind sends these scary fucking guys to ruin everything. With the brothers fighting again, Santa resumes his duty and sets out to fulfill his yearly delivery, right into the North Wind's trap. Dude, imagine seeing those fucking scary guys outside of your airplane window. The two brothers then arrive and save Santa. Why would they be scared of heights now? They've been up high for like 10 minutes now. So they make it all the way back to the North Pole. The North Wind gets zapped into hell and the brothers make the nice list. The pair then sets out and delivers all of the gifts. The end. Ah oh man, wow. That was a steaming pile of Christmas crap. They were really trying to make something good with these characters. But ah, oh, dude, they fell so short. The practical effects look fine in my opinion, I'll always appreciate stop motion, but it's the poor writing, awful music, and weird awkwardness that just prevents me from enjoying it. If you also enjoy this special, that's totally fine, like what you like. But if you want to laugh at a bad Christmas special, then go ahead and give it a watch. But I wouldn't waste too much time on a Miser Brothers Christmas. Just watch the original Year Without a Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. You know, if you're anything like me, you probably have the Miser Brothers song stuck in your head. And if that's the case, why don't you check out my cover of their famous song? I sang it last year and had a lot of fun making it. And if you had fun watching the video, be sure to like, comment, share it, you know, all the shit that YouTube likes to see. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I mean, look at this. Now, come on, you're not going to make me spend Christmas all alone, are you? Don't answer that. I'd play horror games, I do voiceovers, and I make other videos like this. So definitely go check out the rest of my stuff. So, one final time, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and if none of that does it for you, well, goodbye. <laughs>